Hi Virgo, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So I just do these whenever I feel intuitively called to do them. So they don't really have a specific date or anything like that. So whenever you find this, whenever you feel like this could be for you, then this could have a message for you. But of course, this is very general, so it's just going to be for the collective energy. So if it doesn't feel like it's for you, if it doesn't feel like it resonates, then um, it might not be for you. Also, do keep in mind that this could be vice versa. This could pick up on somebody who is around you. It could pick up on the energies that are surrounding um, a relationship. This could be about you. This could be about a partnership. So just take whatever fits for you. We're going to go ahead and look here at the overall energy for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs within and around love and relationships. So Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgo in love? What's going on for Virgo in love and the collective? see what's going on for Virgo love and relationships we have the three of Pentacles reverse we have here the Queen of Pentacles which is you Virgo we have the two of swords with the Emperor at the bottom here so some of you, there might be somebody who you consider to be a masculine person in your life. This could be a divine masculine. This could be somebody who, because um, for me, I do feel like the emperor is somebody who's really going to want to provide somebody who is um, <clears throat> a divine masculine character here. I feel like some of you with the three of pentacles reverse, you could be in a situation here where somebody is not necessarily meeting you on that level because we have here the two of swords too. So there could be a very conflicted person around you. Again, maybe specifically a masculine or you're kind of waiting for somebody to take action towards you here. And I do feel like with that three of pentacles, it's all about building. It's all about collaboration. And with this to be in reverse right next to the queen of pentacles, I feel like a lot of you are wanting to either build your own uh, empire right now, build your own legacy, and you might be taking an independent path here. And this might be because you are in an environment where you're around somebody here who's not really putting in the effort Okay, or somebody's trying to decide this here. So let's see what else we have for Virgo. What's going on for Virgos in love? What's going on for Virgo? We have past life relationship. Yeah, so we have finances and career. We have here true love and we have reconciliation. So I do feel like here for some of you, there's definitely uh, something involving your career or finances. And again, I think it could be on another person's end or it could be both of you. But the fact that we have that three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles here, um, I feel like finances are definitely an issue. So this could be somebody who is wanting to build something with you. They're wanting to come towards you and make something work with you but they could be a little bit conflicted when it comes to opening their heart here. And I think this is somebody, if this is for you, that is somebody who's very focused, somebody who's very driven here, or somebody who does want to try to make, um, to build something. But I feel like at the moment, there could be that you are taking more of an independent path here with the three of pentacles reversed. And there could be, um, somebody who wants to maybe come back around towards you. So it could have been that they were conflicted. This could have even been a marriage or something that was involving family here. And it might be that they have been a little bit conflicted when it comes to what they're looking for 
or a little bit closed emotionally here. And I do think that there's a potential that this person might be seeing maybe that you um, are, are deserving of an effort here. And this might be a karmic connection. It might be a twin flame connection, soulmate connection, but there's a lot of past life uh, karma maybe that you're working through with this person. But I feel like with this true love and reconciliation, this is somebody who is going to step up to the plate for you. Let's see what else we have for Virgos in love. We have time, discipline. Look at that discipline. Yeah, so this the emperor is pretty much the definition of somebody who is very disciplined. So I do think that, and this could be vice versa, you know, this could be about you, you know, being disciplined right now. I think it's a little bit of both. So depending on where you're at, some of you might just be, uh, as I said, you might be wanting to take your own path right now. And this is going to take a lot of discipline for you. It's going to take a lot of work for you because you want to build something solid for yourself. You want to build something stable for yourself here. But I do feel just intuitively with that emperor card, uh, either you are taking on that role of the emperor, but I, I feel for most of you, this is actually somebody who is maybe trying to put in a lot of discipline in their life right now so that they can meet you on this level so that they can possibly come back towards you here or come together at a time that's more suitable. Okay. Cause this says time here too. So time could be an issue right now. Um, Virgo is what I'm seeing. And this is not to say you should wait for this person, but you'll feel if this is for you. You'll know if this is for you here. Let's see what else we have for Virgo. What's going on right now in love for Virgo? Yeah, so here we have masculine. So this is confirming, definitely. This is an emperor masculine here. We have the secret lover. I did see this one actually when I was shuffling. And we have here on the horizon. Yes, and we have lessons at the bottom. And we have caged heart here. So this is making sense because I feel like with the caged heart here, damaged and the two of swords, I do feel like this is a masculine person who has been maybe very damaged. They could have been through a lot. There's been a lot of lessons here. So this is probably for those of you who have maybe a counterpart situation already or you have somebody that you consider a very sacred connection in your life here. And I feel like what's happening is that on the horizon here is somebody who's a masculine, I feel for most, who's going to want to reconcile, who's going to want to come together. However, we do have secret lovers. So let's see what this is about. For some of you, there might be a secret lover here to where you are a secret lover. And maybe this is because of, let's confirm this and see what this is about here. That might be for some with the three of pentacles reverse, there could be other people involved. But if that's the case, I feel like this is maybe somebody who uh, has a financial tie somewhere or um, maybe some somebody from their past that they're, they're tied to in terms of um, finances somehow here. Let's see what we have for Virgo. What do we need to know here in love for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What do we need to know about secret lover? Virgo. Okay. Yeah. So we have here slow down and reflect and we have, you are on the right path at the moment. So I feel like this is definitely moving in the right direction. Something here is definitely moving in the right direction. And that's what I feel for most of you. This is going to be um, a positive turn of events, a positive thing here. Let's see what else we have though with the secret lover. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely a pressure here. There's, a, there's been a pressure, especially in regards to stability and finances here. And that could have been definitely in the way here between you and somebody here that you're connected to. Um, or maybe you were a secret lover in the past. Maybe this person was blocked here or they were indecisive when it comes to their past versus you. Going on for Virgo, a secret lover. Five of Swords reversed. The 
the Nine of Cups in reverse. Queen of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. So this definitely has a tie to finances, okay? We have Seven of Swords here and the Empress in reverse. So there definitely has been, depending on who you are here and which way you look at this. This could be you, it could be somebody else, it could be, you know, depending here. But I do feel like there has been, uh, again, a lot of finances involved here and a, and a need for a discipline, a need for structure. So somebody could have been really struggling. They could have been feeling that they had a maybe a karmic type of situation in their life that they have to work through here. And I feel like that's a big part of it with the Eight of Pentacles. And so it's, it's really a time to get clear at the moment. And I think that's what the Emperor here is indicating is that this masculine person might be wanting to be a little bit more clear about what they want moving forward. But this is going to require quite a bit of discipline. And it's up to you if you feel like you are in this situation and you don't feel like you're getting that support. Like I said in the beginning with the Three of Pentacles reversed, some of you might be just deciding that it's better for you to take your own path, regardless of what this person does, regardless of what happens here, because there could have been a lot of lessons in the situation for you to grow and to expand. And that's why Spirit's saying that you are on the right path. So whatever you decide to do, you are on the right path, even if you do have a strong connection here with somebody. And I feel like with that Nine of Cups reverse and the Five of Swords reverse, um, it's like there's been, it feels more like with that, with that energy that it's been sort of uh, like a winding road to kind of get to a place of fulfillment. Virgo. What's going on for Virgo in love? Sacral chakra. Okay, we have explore your senses and we have connect with spirit. So we do have two cards about, we have sacral chakra here too, which is really about exploring your senses too. Connect with spirit. So let's look at the outcome here. So where are things heading here, Virgo and love? Where are things heading for Virgo and love? What's coming in next? We have wedding and we have here, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. So there could be something here involving a wedding or marriage here that is coming up for you or that you have, um, on the horizon here, but it's really important to stay optimistic right now, Virgo. And I feel like that's what's happening here is that there is going to be a positive turn of events for you. So try to stay optimistic because I do feel like whatever challenges are currently going on, they are being worked through is what I'm getting here. And that's why Spirit's saying you're on the right track. Let's see outcome here for Virgos in love. Okay. Three of Swords and the Judgment card. So this is very interesting energy. And, and again, there's, there's a bunch of different groups of you here. I do feel like with the Three of Swords, the Judgment card, and the Four of Cups, I'm getting a, a, a couple of different things here. Some of you might be realizing or deciding that when this person might come around to you or come back to you, there's kind of too much water under the bridge or there's too many... Or there's something about this that I feel, and it could involve marriage. It doesn't, doesn't have to be a current marriage. It could be an ex-partnership, or it could be marriage or divorce, or something that is involved somehow here. And I feel like regardless if this is you that's married, or you that was divorced, or somebody else, I feel like there's going to be 
a lot of awakening here with the with the judgment card and the four of cups but i do feel like there's going to be some clarity coming through here for you in regards to what the truth is in regards to what the obstacles have been and i feel like some of you are going to walk on your own path some of you are going to decide that it's better for you to kind of cut your losses here and to move forward and this is a really big lesson for you and I, and I feel like that's why Spirit's saying to really stay optimistic right now. I feel like intuitively with that secret lover, you know, there definitely could be with the Three of Swords here. There could be or could have been in the past some other interferences or third parties here. And that might be something that was a very hard lesson. And I think that's that's what you're working through at the moment. Um, we do have true love, though, and we have... Um, the reconciliation so that's why i feel for some there is something coming up on the horizon to where i do feel this masculine person might be coming towards you but again it's going to be up to you here um and for others of you the other message i'm getting is that somebody could be really uh realizing what they are learning from the past what they need to do moving forward essentially Let's see here. What else? What is the outcome here, spirits, for Virgos? Where are things heading? What is the outcome? Where are things heading for Virgos and love, please? Yeah, realization. So there's a light bulb moment here. There's definitely going to be a big awakening. Here we have the summertime. So it's probably going to happen in the summer months, in the next few months. So probably in the next three, four uh, months or so. There's a light bulb moment here. There's a realization. We have love potential. So to be honest, I feel like this is more of a lesson. I feel like the outcome is very flexible here. Some of you are going to just really move past a lesson with maybe this person, this divine masculine character, and the two of you might be able to work something out. You might be able to grow into something more. I am seeing with the potential here, but the, what this is going to take is a realization. It's going to take an awakening on one or both ends, one or both parties, and this is what's currently going on. So whatever obstacles have been um, presented in the past, I feel like these are going to be overcome, especially when it relates to career, finances, money, discipline, doing the right thing. And I feel like it's going to be moving into the direction where um, there could be some heartbreak involved for somebody. Okay. But I also feel like there's going to be sort of a cutting away of what has been in the way. with stay optimistic. So there's going to be a potential here, I feel, but it, I just feel like it's going to take a little bit of a detour. Um, and I do think, again, wedding, marriage is involved here somehow. Let's see what else. What is this here? Uh, yeah, a major breakthrough is on the horizon. So didn't we have the word on the horizon? I think we did. Yeah, on the horizon. So something is happening here on the horizon. And again, I, I would say the next few months or so, there's going to be a breakthrough and it feels more positive. It feels like you're being asked to stay optimistic, but you know what's best for you. If you feel like you need to get out of a situation here, um, then do that. But I feel like there is going to be at least a moving towards more positive experiences, more positive outcome here in love. Um, what's the outcome for Virgos in love? Yeah, exactly. The full details are still unfolding. We do have here make a U-turn before the wrong choice is made. So that's what's interesting about this energy, um, Virgo. I feel like there is a couple of different groups of you or stories here and you're going to have to listen to your own heart um, some of you are being encouraged here to make sure that you're not making the wrong decision okay because something is not ready it's like it's not ripe here the potential is not ready so it might just be that something is just 
simply not ready. It's not the right time for this to come through um, because of marriage or because of something else that's in the way here. And so in, in that case, you're being asked to apply the lesson to move forward and to, um, you know, do what you feel is best for you. But there is going to be a, a need to make a U-turn here. It also could be somebody else has to make a U-turn. They have to do the right thing. They have to make the right choice here. And I think that's what the Two of Swords as well and the Emperor. Um, this decision might be weighed on the on the masculine part, you know, that they may have to go through this judgment day in order to make the right choice, the right decision. But whatever it is, the details are not ready yet. They're, they're still unfolding. What's coming in for Virgos in love? October. Okay, so something could be happening in October. So there might be, this might be when something is completed. What's happening in October? Yeah, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. Exactly. So this is going to be a really, really, even if you don't come together with this person, or even if you um, are not exactly getting what you want at the moment, there's going to be a really big spiritual epiphany, spiritual revelation, understanding. This is all happening for you and for maybe the other person too, to reach this judge, to reach this judgment day and to really find, um, the clarity in the situation here. Okay, we have kangaroo, unsettled times, need to plan ahead. Yeah, so we have karma, you will reap what you have sown. And we have rose, romance is in the air. So it's going to be a little bit of a bumpy road, I would say. For some, it could be until uh, October. Um, I would say that there may be some communication or there may be some news in the next few months. And then maybe around October time, there could be a, um, there, there's going to, I do feel there's going to be a coming together or you're going to be happy in love. There's going to be a, um, a romantic gesture somehow here, or there's just going to be romance in general for you. But what I feel is that this is karmic reward. Something is happening karmically here. And until this is completed, it's going to be still a major lesson in the process. So don't try to rush into things right now. Um, there may be a little bit of a bumpy ride with this here. Need to plan ahead. And this is because I feel like there's going to be some news or there's going to be some um, difficult moments that are ultimately going to have to clear the way for what's coming ahead here. Okay. Yeah. We have shadow work. So it's definitely going to be, uh, and this could be the other person too, you know, they could be going through this, but there is going to be, uh, it's like when you move through the darkness, when you move through the two of swords, you illuminate the, the shadows essentially. And so that's what I feel is going to be happening here. So keep an eye out for October and also the summer months here. Let's see any final cards for Virgo in love. Yes, me, myself, and I. So it's going to be a time to spend time alone or to really get to know what you want or vice versa. With the lavender card, me, myself, and I, we have sepia, old thought. Develop your destiny. We have here mint, decisive action. And we have lapis lazuli, enhanced self-respect. Yeah, so I feel like with the self-respect card here, there's going to be a lesson in regards to that, in regards to maintaining a level of self-respect. And, and in the process, there's going to be a lot of truths that are come, going to come through that could trigger a lot of shadows, could trigger a lot of shadow work here. Um, okay, but I feel like it's time to really move towards destiny with this here. There's going to be a moment to um, get to a place of what's truly right is going to be unfolding. And that's where I feel the karma card here, you reap what you have sown, is going to come in. Beginnings, yep, the East card here. So we have beginnings and we have richness, marine life. So this is going to be a beautiful time to have a new beginning. It's like whatever has been dull or whatever has been blocked, maybe it might take a few more months, but there is going to be a new sense of vitality and richness that's coming through, but it's going to take having to bring up the shadows or bring up the dirt here in a sense. And I think for some of you, this is between you and another person. 
and especially you and a masculine character here. And so it's going to be a little bit unsettled, maybe especially in regards to the practical matters of things here for somebody, but it is going to resolve. There's going to be more of a sense of new direction here coming through. Just give it a little bit more time. So I hope this could help you, Virgo. Thank you so much for um, tuning in and have a great rest of the day. And I'll talk to you next time. Much love.